Hey everyone, this is Trevor Daly with SLR Lounge. And guys, today I wanna to share a tip with you. It's something that's absolutely essential that I hope everyone, every photographer is doing inside of Lightroom. So stay tuned. All right guys, so the one absolutely essential thing that you should be doing in Lightroom is incorporating the metadata settings into your photos on import. However, here's one other little tip to this. There's a way that you can really market yourself well if you just add one additional metadata tip, and I'll share that in about two minutes. So let me explain what metadata is, and then I'll share the marketing tip with you. So basically, so basically, if I were to come in here and go into Lightroom on import, okay, so when I import photos, I wanna make sure that this setting right over here that says apply during import is selected and that I have metadata turned on. So when I come over here, I wanna choose one of these metadata settings. Now, obviously yours aren't gonna say Trevor Daily or TD Caption because these are ones that I set up. So let's just show you how you set one of these up real quick. So if I hit new, I come over here and I call this preset whatever I want. So let's just call it new Trevor, whatever. Okay, now I come down here and I can choose by selecting on the side which one of these these, these labels that I want to I want to include. Now, obviously, if I come down to the bottom here, this is super important where the creator is. So I want to include my information, Trevor Daly. I want to include my city, my country, my phone, my email, my website, etc. So people know if they see that photo somewhere, they can see the metadata settings by looking at the info of the photo, and they know how to get a hold of the person who made the photo, right? So, I mean, a watermark is one thing, but including that information, including your email, your phone, so and so forth, allows anyone who maybe wants to use it for commercial purposes or what have you to be able to contact you, okay? That information is right there. Now, that's great. That's still not the, the, the marketing tip that I wanna share with you yet. One other thing real quick, you can include your copyright information and you can say copyright status copyrighted. Guys, that doesn't mean the photo is copyrighted though. I'm no attorney, but from what I understand, a copyrighted image, yes, you own the rights to that image by shooting it, but to get something copyrighted, you have to register it with the copyright office. Now, um, you don't have to do that with every shoot. You can usually send 75,000 photos in every quarter or every six months or what have you, um, but that's how you actually get your images copyrighted. Yes, you own the rights to the image, but it's not copyrighted until you copyright it with the US office or your country's office. So, now let me go, now of course, again, I don't want anyone disputing what I've said. I'm no attorney, so if you guys know better, definitely let me know, um, but that's how I understand it. Now, here's the marketing tip. Here's the one thing that I wanna make sure that every photographer is doing, and that's right here where it says caption. Caption, what that means is when your clients upload those photos to, let's say, Facebook, for example, in the caption of the photo, it's automatically gonna say whatever you type here. So if I put photo by Trevor Daily Photography, and then here's the tip, guys. Here's the best part. I'm gonna put in parentheses, I'm gonna put a link to my website. Right there, I just created a active link that every time those clients share those photos, that caption's gonna include an active link right to my website. So on Facebook, for example, the caption of the photo is gonna have a link right to my website. So their clients, or excuse me, their friends, if they see those photos and they're like, wow, these are amazing, I wanna hire this guy, right then and there, they can click on my website, go you know, right through, and find me and be able to contact me that way. So it's a great marketing tip, and I'm surprised how many photographers forget to do that. And in fact, a lot of photographers, they get frustrated because the, the client doesn't say who the photo was by in their, in their captions or what have you. Well, here, we're doing it for them. Now, they can, of course, go in there and erase that caption and, choose, and select whatever they wish when they're uploading to Facebook, but it's automatically gonna put that there. And what I found is a lot of clients, if they have a caption they wanna include to their photo, they'll just put it right before what I've said here, a couple spaces, and then they'll just leave whatever I've typed in, um, leave it there. Um, so guys, use that. Now, one last thing, if you've already imported the photos and you and you want to add this caption to your photos after they're already in Lightroom, let's say you just wanna go through your whole catalog and add it to every single photo. Well, all you gotta do is choose whatever collection you're working on um, or the whole hard drive, if you wish. Choose a photo and hit Command A for on the Mac or Control A on the PC to select everything. Now, once you've done that, come right over here in the library module and let me just collapse this so you can see what it looks like. You got quick develop, keywording, metadata, comments. I'm gonna go down to metadata and right at the top it says preset. I can just go ahead and add that preset. Now, this one's already on there, so let's just choose one that's not and you'll see that it pops up and it says, would you like to add this metadata to the active photo, the one photo, or you wanna use all selected? 
Now, of course, you're gonna to wanna to choose all selected. It will then suck those settings or apply those settings right on top of your photo, and you'll have that caption included as well. So, guys, take advantage of it. It's an amazing marketing tool. It allows you to have a link right to your website, and you're gonna find that you're gonna drive traffic there a lot more by having that available on every single photo. So, please take advantage of it. Like I said, it's essential. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and we got a lot more of these tips coming real soon, so stay tuned. And if you have any questions, definitely holler at me. I'd be happy to help you out. Thanks again, guys. Take care.